I am Anil Kumar sharing with you one of the most important test questions on vectors. The question here is ABCD is a trapezoid whose diagonals AC and BD intersect at the point E. The diagram is given to you. If AB is two third of DC, prove that AE is 3 over 5 of AB plus 2 over 5 of AD. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's see how to prove it. What are we given? We are given that AB is equals to two third of DC. That is what we are given. Now if you look at the diagram, then AB is this vector, AB and DC is this vector. So we are given the ratio of these two vectors. What you also observe here is, and this ratio is 2 is to 3, so let me write the numbers here. The ratio is 2 is to 3, right? Now if you observe, we have two similar triangles. We know that the triangle ABE is similar to triangle, so when we say ABE, we will say DCE, right? DCE. These two triangles are similar, they have opposite angles which are same, parallel lines, right? These are parallel lines since they are in fixed ratio, right? So these angles are also same, congruent angles. So from AA, they are similar. Now in similar triangles, ratio of sides are same, right? So, so we have AB over DC should be equal to AE over EC, correct? And this ratio is given to us as 2 over 3. That means AE is to EC is also in the ratio of 2 is to 3, right? So that means you can say uh, 3AE equals to 2EC, right? So this ratio is also in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Do you see that part? Correct. Now that helps to really solve this question. Now let's get back to finding AE. What is AE now equals to? Now since this ratio is 2 is to 3, that means AE is equal to, so this portion is 2 fifth of the whole thing, 2 out of 5 of AC, right? So, so AE, let me use a different color, AE is 2 fifth, it is 2 out of 2 plus 3, the total length will be 5, right? It is 2 fifth of the whole thing, do you see that? Right. But what is AC equals to? Let's see what AC is equal to. AC will be AD plus DC, correct? That is AC. So we could write this as 2 fifth of AD plus DC, right? Now, <clears throat> we know what AD is in terms of AB. This is what we need to prove. Uh, I mean, we know what AD is already there. DC, now DC could be written in terms of AB so that we get what is required result. So we'll rearrange this formula here. We are saying AB is two third of DC then what is DC equals to? Let's write it down. So DC from here is equals to 3 over 2 of AB, right? So here we'll change DC to 3 over 2 of AB. So what we get here is, uh, let me continue here and then we'll come back. 2 over 5 of AD plus DC is 3 over 2 of AB. So we'll write this as 3 over 2 of AB, correct? 
Now open the bracket so we can write this as 2 over 5 of AD plus 2 over 5 times 3 over 2 of AB, right? And that gives you the result. So we have 2 over 5 of AD. This 2 and 2 cancels. 3 over 2. Uh, 3 over 5 of AB, right? So that's how we can prove that AE we started with is equal to 3 over 5 of AB plus 2 over 5 of AD. Just rearrange, right? So that's how we can solve this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Go through this video once again, understand the strategy. I'm Manil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thanks for watching.